Welcome to our React.js tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with lists. Our viewer is trying to implement a load more feature for a to-do list, but is running into an error. The question is, how can we show a to-do list with a load more option when the limit is applied, but the load more function throws an error stating that this state.limit is null? Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To address the issue with your to-do list and the load more functionality, we first need to ensure that the state is properly initialized. In your code, the limit is not part of the component's state. Next, we need to modify the onLoadMore function to correctly reference the component's state. We can use an arrow function to maintain the correct context of this. Now let's ensure that the renderTotos function correctly accesses the updated limit from the state. This will allow it to display the correct number of totos. Finally, ensure that the onClick event for the loadMore link correctly calls the onLoadMore function. This will trigger the state update and display more todos. With these changes, your toto list should now function correctly with a loadMore option. Test it out to see if it resolves the error you encountered. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement a load more feature in React without a button click, you can use the component did mount function to add a scroll event listener. This listener checks the scroll position and triggers loading more items when the user scrolls to the bottom. In the example code, the component maintains a state for items and loading status. When the user scrolls to the bottom, the load more items function updates the state to add more items after a delay. The rendered output includes a scrollable div containing a list of items and a loading message when more items are being fetched. This approach creates a seamless user experience. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.